Welcome to the WSC Staff Interaction with the SAN Process Training. In this video, you'll learn how to create a SAN request, complete a SAN assessment, edit SAN services, and how to recommend a new SAN service, define the proposed budget, and route the SAN request for State Office Review. If a WSC is helping a consumer request funds for service needs that cannot be met through natural supports, community supports, or within the current budget, the WSC submits a significant additional needs request. Before requesting additional funds, the WSC must work with the consumer to identify resources outside the iBudget waiver program to meet the individual's needs, address the needs within the existing budget, or move unallocated or unused funds to meet the needs. To create a SAN request in APDI Connect, the WSC creates a SAN record, completes the SAN assessment, edits or adds SAN services, and defines the proposed budget. If a WSC is helping a consumer request funds for service needs that cannot be met through natural supports, community supports, or within the current budget, the WSC submits a significant additional needs request. Navigate to the consumer record and then click the SAN tab. Click the file menu and select Add SAN Details. In the Type field, select either Permanent or Temporary. Permanent indicates a period of 12 or more continuous months, and temporary is a period of less than 12 months. Select a reason for the SAN request from the drop-down list. The status field will remain draft. The description field is optional, and the WSC can use it if they feel there is information that would be helpful for the reviewer. In the Plan ID field, click the ellipsis and select the approved APD waiver plan for the current plan year. If the APD waiver plan for the current plan year is not in an approved status, the SAN will not pass validation and the WSC will be unable to proceed with the SAN request. They must exit the SAN and follow the necessary procedures for the current plan year to be approved. When you're finished, click File, Save SAN Details. Additional tabs are now displayed on the left. The next step is to add the current budget to the SAN request. From the SAN Details screen, click the ellipsis next to the Current Budget field. The budget that is linked to the selected plan will be displayed. If the budget does not appear, save and close the SAN Details page and proceed to the Consumer Budget tab to link the budget to the plan. Then return to the SAN Details page and continue. Select the budget. The budget details are displayed on the SAN Details page. Current Budget is a non-editable calculated field that displays the sum of all budget transactions for this consumer budget. Algorithm Amount is a non-editable field that displays the Algorithm Amount value from the Consumer Budget Details page. Amount Unauthorized is a non-editable calculated field that displays the current budget minus the amount authorized. Click File, Save SAN Details. After the SAN record has been created, a SAN assessment is completed. The SAN assessment is a form in APDI Connect that includes information required by the APDI Budget Rule and Handbook. From the SAN Details page, click the SAN Assessments tab, then click File, Add SAN Assessment. In the Please Select Type field, select WSC SAN Request. The Worker field defaults to the user. The review date will default to today and does not need to be changed. The status will default to draft and remain in this status until the form is complete and ready to be submitted to State Office for review. 
In the WSC Processing section, answer the questions as they pertain to the SAN request. Based on the responses, additional fields may be displayed. If Yes is selected, the documentation needed to support the request is displayed. If No is selected, these additional fields are not displayed. For each field, identify where the documentation is in the consumer record. If the documentation type does not apply, leave this field blank. In this case, the psychological or psychiatric assessments or reports are attached to a note in the consumer record. The WSC reviews the actions to be taken before submitting a SAN request and places a check next to each task as it's completed. The WSC will select one or more reasons for the SAN request. The WSC will complete the Services and Supporting Documentation section. The WSC SAN request form will remain in a draft status until the WSC addresses all the questions in the form and provides all the documentation needed for the SAN request. Then the WSC will update the status on the form to complete. The form must be in a complete status before submitting the SAN to the State Office for review. When you're finished with the assessment, click File. Save and close SAN assessment. After the WSC SAN request form has been completed, the WSC copies the existing planned services and edits each to reflect the requirements of the SAN request. The WSC will indicate the adjustment needed or no change for every planned service. A copy of existing services is created and changes are made to the copies, not to the original planned services. If there are two providers for the same service during the plan year, both do not need to be copied to the SAN request. The WSC will exclude one from the SAN request and document the needs for the full year on a single SAN service record. To exclude a service from the SAN request, on the SAN services page, place a check mark next to the service to be excluded. From the Tools menu, select Exclude Current Service. The value in the Included Excluded column will update to Excluded. Now you're ready to copy services to the SAN record. From the SAN Details screen, click the SAN Services tab. A list of planned services from the approved plan you selected on the SAN Details page will be displayed here. Select All Planned Services by clicking the checkbox at the top of the column. Even if a service is not being updated, it still requires review and a recommendation, even if that recommendation is no change. You cannot copy services that have been excluded. Click File. Copy Selected Sand Services. APDI Connect will automatically generate a copy of the selected services. Each copy will have WSC as the reviewer type. You may need to click the Next button to see all the services if there are more than 15. You can update existing services and add new ones depending on the need. To update, click the service to open the record. Remember, even if you're not making changes to a service, it still needs to be updated with the recommendation of no change. In this case, the consumer was approved for crisis waiver enrollment when her primary caregiver was suddenly unable to care for her. During the crisis review process, residential habilitation was determined to be the service that the consumer needed for her health and safety. Her waiver enrollment was effective July 1, 2019. When she and her WSC reviewed her algorithm, they determined that her algorithm was only sufficient for 12 months of support coordination and three months of standard residential habilitation basic. The WSC is submitting a SAN to request that the consumer's budget be increased to accommodate 12 months of residential habilitation. To accommodate the consumer's needs, the end date will need to be changed from September 30th of 2019 
to June 30, 2020, to increase the number of ResHab 1 units from 3 to 12. Max amount is an auto-calculated field based on the number of units and the unit cost of the service code selected. Cost is the value used in the proposed budget calculations on the SAN details page. This is an editable field that defaults to the amount that was approved in the current approved plan. The WSC must update it to match the max amount value. Now, enter the total units needed for the current fiscal year and include comments about the request. You should provide enough detail so that reviewers fully understand the nature of the request. In this example, enter 12 annualized units. In the SAN Service Status field, select Pending so the State Office Reviewer can edit the record. Next, a recommendation is selected. For this request, I'm going to select Increase Request, meaning I am requesting additional units for ResHab services. Increase Request means that I am requesting additional units. Reduce Requests means that I am requesting a decrease in the number of units. No Change indicates that there are no changes for the SAN request. End Request means the service is ending and does not need to be continued. When a new SAN service is added, the recommendation defaults to New Service. The effective date for the recommendation will be added by the State Office Reviewer and will be read only for the WSC. This is the date the service decision will be listed as effective on the Notice of iBudget Amount. The State Comments field is also read only for the WSC. I finished updating this SAN service so I will select Save and Close SAN Service Detail from the File menu. The WSC will address all services that have a reviewer type of WSC, identify the change for each, and keep the SAN Service status as pending. There are no changes need to the Support Coordination Service, but I still must address each service. I must complete all required fields. I'll change the SAN service status to pending. The recommendation is no change. I'm finished, so I'll click File, then Save and Close SAN service detail. If the WSC creates a SAN service record in error, they will delete it. From the SAN services list view, the WSC will locate the SAN service that was created in error, then select the checkbox to the right of the SAN service that needs to be deleted. From the File menu, select Delete. A delete confirmation is displayed. Click OK. The WSC will only be able to delete the SAN services they created. APDI Connect will not allow the WSC to delete a service with a reviewer type of current. Now that SAN services have been created, the next step is to define the proposed budget amount based on the proposed SAN services. The SAN services are then validated and submitted for State Office Review. From the SAN Details page, select Refresh Budget Info. The budget is updated based on the proposed WSC SAN services. Proposed Prorated Increase. Some of the costs on all WSC SAN services minus the current budget amount. Proposed Budget. Current budget amount plus the amount in the proposed prorated increase field. Proposed Annualized Increase – the sum of the annualized costs on all WSC SAN services minus the current budget amount. Proposed Annualized Budget – current budget amount plus the amount in the proposed Annualized Increase field. 
When you're finished reviewing the proposed budget, click File, then Save and Validate SAN. If issues were found, a message is displayed. Select View Issues, then click OK. The SAN Validation Report displays the issues that need to be corrected. Click the X in the upper corner of the screen to close the report, then correct the errors and run the validation again until it passes. When the SAN passes validation, change the status to Submitted on the SAN Details page. The submitted value is only visible after a successful save and validate is completed. If submitted is not visible after a successful save and validate, refresh the page by clicking on any tab and clicking back to the SAN Details page. And finally, click File. Save and close SAN details. The SAN request is automatically routed to the State Office for review. Waiver support coordinators are required to gather all required documentation to support the funding request. The WSC indicates the documentation that is being provided on the WSC SAN assessment form in the Service Supporting Documentation section. The WSC will also create a note in ABDI Connect to indicate where in the record the documentation can be found and or upload the support documentation as attachments to a note. During the State Office review process, additional supporting documentation may be requested. The reviewer communicates with the WSC by SAN notes. These notes will be displayed on the WSC's dashboard in the Pending Notes task pane. To add a note with supporting documentation, I'll navigate to the SAN record and click the SAN Notes tab. The note type is SAN. The subtype is Supporting Documentation. In the Note field, if supporting documentation exists in the consumer record but it is not attached to the SAN note, the WSC must let the reviewer know where in the consumer record to find it. No note recipient is needed. The State Office Reviewer will automatically review all notes as part of the SAN request review process. For information on creating notes, see the APD iConnect Basics video. The agency will then review the SAN request in accordance with rule requirements. During the review process, additional supporting documentation may be requested. The WSC attaches documentation to a SAN note. WSCs can expect decisions on a SAN request within 30 calendar days or 60 days if additional information was requested. The decision of approved, denied, or partially approved is recorded in the Decision section on the SAN Detail page. APD sends the appropriate notices to the consumer and legal representatives and saves each as an attachment to a note in APD iConnect. The WSC is added as a note recipient so that they can verify that the applicable notice was sent to the consumer. The WSC monitors their dashboard for incoming notes and will update the planned services per the SAN decision. If the SAN was approved or partially approved, State Office staff will add a budget transaction to the consumer's budget. The final reviewer will close the SAN by changing the status to complete. You must reverse the status of the approved plan to draft before you can update planned services. Using the WSC Cost Plan Adjustment Rule, the Waiver Support Coordinator navigates to the consumer record, selects the Plan tab, and opens the APD Waiver Plan record. From the Plan Information page, select File then Reverse Status to revert the plan to a draft status in order to update the planned services. Select the Plan Services subpage. The list of planned services displays. Select the planned service and update the end date and units to reflect the approved SAN services. 
Then open the File menu and select Save and Close Plan Services. Next, validate the plan and route for region or state office review as required. Once the plan passes validation, update the authorizations for existing services or create authorizations for new services. For information on updating planned services and authorizations, see the WSC Interaction with the Cost Plan and Budget video. This concludes the WSC Interaction with the SAN video. In this video, you learn how to create a SAN request, complete a SAN assessment, edit and add SAN services, define the proposed budget, and route the SAN request for state office review. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, please email iConnect at apdcares.org.